Hi, in this video I'll be showing you a couple of products. The first one, and the main one I'm going to be demonstrating, is this one. This is the Morphe Richards Myco Toasty. The second one, and I'm not going to concentrate too much on it, this is the Morphe Richards Myco Multi Pop. Uh, but just before I show you these, I just wanted to say please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up, click subscribe. Now the Myco range from Morphe Richards have actually been around for several years. Um, this is one that, I must admit, I actually use it at home all the time. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm going to show you it on, well, it's almost lunchtime, so I'm actually going to demonstrate it for you to show how good it is. For my avid followers, you will know that I normally record videos inside, but at the moment, the weather, uh, it's actually a Sunday afternoon, uh, the weather out here is absolutely fantastic, so I thought I'd come out and enjoy the sun, because it's quite rare in the UK. Uh, but anyway, so this is the first one. This is the uh, the Myco multi-pot uh, and really the idea of this one is that you can cook things like jack potatoes, eggs, burgers and Mediterranean style vegetables so you actually get two different pots uh, that you can cook all these different things in. Um, I must admit that one we don't sell quite as many of, it's not been around quite as long but this one, the Myco Toasty, do absolutely loads of these. Um, it's actually been out of stock for a while and we had a lot of people inquiring when it was coming back in, so I'm glad that Morphe Richards have carried on with this one. So many people, like myself, have had a sandwich toaster for years. Um, one common problem is cleaning it afterwards. I must admit, it's always been a pain. Um, I've had a traditional sandwich toaster for, for quite a few years, and always threatened to throw it out because I just hate cleaning it at the end. It's always a pain. Unless you get quite a fancy one where you've got removable plates that you can put into a dishwasher or try and Keep, keep it clean easily then it's always been a pain and that's really why I was tempted with this and as I say I've, I've owned one of these for several years now um, but really the idea is that you make you make your toasty the same way as you would in a normal sandwich toaster uh, but with these so this all comes apart so they just all come apart like that and it's just a it's a silicon finish well it's just a, a silicon mold and you've got the metal plates inside and all of this is easily washable really is easy so you can either just chuck it in the dishwasher after you've finished or you can just wash it in hot soapy water uh, i must admit either way works really well um, but all you do is you just clip it all back together um, but i must admit there's not a huge amount to say about it because um, when it comes to using it it can be easier so as I say, it is almost lunchtime, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and show you how easy it is to make a toasty using the Myco Toasty. So when it comes to making the toasty, it couldn't be easier. Uh, same as any traditional sandwich toaster, you always butter the bread. And I must admit, I quite like to use plenty of butter. Uh, I do like bread with my butter, but uh, I do always place it the butter side down first. Then you just lay the cheese on. Now, it's up to you how much filling you put in. I must admit, I like, I normally quite like a, quite a bit of filling. What's your favorite sandwich toaster filling? Um, personally, I like cheese, or sometimes I'll put uh, perhaps some chilies or a bit of onion in there. That's one of my favorites. But what do you like? Put it in the comments below. Anyway, when you put it on, again, you don't put the butter side down, put it butter side up. And then all you need to do is just put that on top and just connect the two halves and that's it. So that's all ready to go in the microwave. Now, when it comes to the microwave, um, really depending on the microwave you've got, um, it will vary depending on the time that you put it in. Now, for m the microwave I've got, I just tend to find I put it in for two and a half minutes, one side, leave it for about a minute, and then turn it over and then put it in for another one and a half minutes, and then leave it for about 30 seconds. Now, that's something that I suppose it tends to work quite well, but Clearly, the first time I'm putting this in, everything is cold, so the plates are cold. When I do a second round, so when I do another one, which, uh, I'll be honest, when the kids are around then, we always go into a second or sometimes even a third one. So by then, uh, you know, the plates are really hot by then. Uh, clearly, if you're going to be putting it in when the plates are hot, then it might not need quite as long. But that's really trial and error, and that's the beauty of this kind of product. Uh, I do find it, it always tends to vary. but. Anyway, I'm just going to pop it in the microwave for two and a half minutes and then see how we go, Tom. So I've just turned it over and I've let it rest for about 30 seconds. 
and I'm just going to put it in for another one and a half minutes because I normally find that that is, is pretty good. And let's go again. There we go. So that's finished now. So, so I'll left it for about 30 seconds. And you do need to be careful because the, clearly this has been in the microwave for, was it four, four and a half minutes? So it can get quite hot. Now that looks absolutely fantastic. Now, considering that's been in the microwave, uh, it's very rare that you'd have something just in a microwave without a grill or oven or anything, and it's nice and crispy. So let's take this out. Let's just pop these to one side. Now, first of all, you'll notice that these are, uh, well, if you touch the plates, they're actually really, really hot. So you do need to be really careful. Um, but, you know, as far as the amount of cheese that's stuck to it, there's not a lot. And, you know, the whole cleaning process is going to be really easy. Although that's only that's going to be the first of many, uh, but let's have a let's have a look. So that looks absolutely stunning. Now I'm going to go and uh, there we are. So just get it into the view of the camera. Uh, now you can see there that the cheese has melted inside, and I'm just going to go and I'm going to go eat my lunch now. <laughs> so I've just finished my lunch and. This is the, the toasty maker. So you see, it's actually still quite hot. Um, as far as it needed to be cleaned, clearly I will need to clean it, but there's not, not a lot that I need to do. So for me, just hot soapy water, and that's more than good enough. Anyway, I've really enjoyed my lunch, uh, doing my cheese toasty. As mentioned earlier, let me know in the comments what kind of toasty you enjoy, uh, what kind of toasty is your favorite, uh, but anyway. I always knew this was going to be quite a quick video uh, compared to some of my other videos but uh, all I'd say is I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Myco Toasty and also the, uh, the Myco Multipot as well and I've not really talked about that one but it's really the Toasty maker that I wanted to concentrate on as I say because we just sell loads of these in our shop and through our website but uh, if you are thinking about buying one of these then I have provided a link below or a couple of links below to show you where to get them at competitive prices. Uh, all I'd normally say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up, click subscribe, leave any comments below. Always ask the comments whether it's good or bad about the video. Uh, if there's anything else that I could have done, I know I could have tried different things. There's a whole range of different uh, different kind of toasties that I could have tried, but I just wanted to give you an example of, of one fairly basic toasty. But uh, always ask the comments whether it's good or bad. Um, if there's something else that you wanted to know about, then as I say, I use one at home all the time, then uh, if you've got any questions then I should be able to help you out. Anyway, thanks for watching.